This is the original 34 that Joseph Pilates outlined in his book called Return to Life Through Contrology. And if you are a instructor, you really should know what these 34 exercises are, whether or not we can do them or not, because let's face it, we've all got issues with our bodies, we've all got injuries and work that we're dealing with. So as instructors, as advanced level students, you guys at this point know what's happening with your bodies, you know the injuries that you're dealing with, and you know how to modify for yourself. So guys, if something doesn't feel good, please do not force yourself to do it. You can modify and take it down or not. I'll give you options as we go through. And I'm going to be following the format of the 34, but I'm throwing in a few different little transitions and a few little variations that you guys can then check out and see how it feels on your body. All right. Good. Cool. Are we ready to rock and roll? So guys, the only thing you're going to need for yourself is a mat, okay? Whether or not it's a Pilates mat or a yoga mat, doesn't matter. Just so you have some kind of padding for your knees, your lower back, and your head. Have it handy and available for yourself. But otherwise, in the original work, Joseph Pilates didn't use any props whatsoever. It was literally your body working with gravity, and that's what creates the resistance for yourself. Okay, are we ready? Any questions yes. before we go? Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to just mute all the background noise. Here we go. All righty, enjoy, guys. So we're going to be starting on the floor. And the very first exercise that Joseph Pilates taught is the 100. So in a slightly different position, I want you to have your legs extended along the ground, squeezing your legs together and pointing your toes. Bring your hands up towards the sky, palms facing forward and the hands together like paddles. Extending the elbows, how far back can you take your arms without letting the ribcage lift? We're going to inhale to nod the chin. Exhale, bring the arms forward, flex the spine and hover your legs just off the ground. Squeeze the gluteals. Take a breath in to prepare. Exhale for five. In two, three, four, five. We're halfway there. You can bend your knees if you need to. Last inhales, exhale, lower, reaching the arms all the way back. Turn the palms of your hands to face each other, roll up. Inhale, lift arms, lift head. Exhale, feel the abdominals connect. Use the support under your back if you need. Stop with your nose above your pubic bone. Take a breath. Exhale, roll back down, listen to me. Put your hands to the floor, lift the leg, roll over. Flex the feet, open the legs, lower your toes if you can. Roll down to the spine, using your arms to press into the floor. Bringing your legs away, point your toes, close the legs, lower legs, reach the arms, use your bum cheeks as a synergist. Inhale, lift arms, head roll up. Nose above pubic bone, long spine, breathe in. Exhale, send your legs away, placing the hands down, lifting the legs, roll over. Flex, open, lower. Roll down, using your arms, using abdominals, point the toes, close the legs, lower the legs, arms back, roll up. 
Inhale. Long curve over. Take a breath in, bite the mat with your bum. And exhale, down you go. Legs go over, roll over, flex, open, lower, roll down through the spine using abdominals. Point your toes, this time keep your legs open as you lower the legs, reach the arms over. Inhale, arms, lift head. Exhale, roll up, your legs are separated. Hold it there, take a breath in. And exhale, roll down, hands to the floor, lift your legs, you roll over with the legs apart. Flex, close, lower the feet. Roll down through the spine, use your arms. Point the toes, lower the legs, reaching the arms over. Separate your legs, lift arms. Head. We've got two more sets. So typically we do six rollovers, and that's what we're repeating here. We just happen to be alternating them with our roll-ups. Arms down, lift legs, over you go. Flex, close the legs, lower the feet. Roll down to the spine. Remember to breathe, guys. Point your toes, reaching the arms over, at the end of the movement, separate the legs. Last set, arms, head, exhale, rolling over. Stay here for a moment, bite the mat with your bum. And exhale, roll down through the spine, placing the hands to the floor, send the legs up and over. This is your last one. Flex, close, lower the feet. And roll down through the spine. Listen to me. You're going to stop here with your legs in the air. Take your hands just a little bit wider than your mat. Lowering your left leg towards the floor. You're flexing both ankles, ready for leg circles. Go across the body. So leg circles is a little bit inaccurate. They're actually more like leg ovals. You are allowing the pelvis to move, stay, change direction for five. Your obliques are active. They are working eccentrically and concentrically as you move. Last one. And hold. And now scissor the legs in the air for three, two, one. You now have your right leg on the floor, leg circles on the left. Five. Use your arms. Open up the chest. One more. Hold it, change direction. Five. Obliques. Last one. Leg scissors. Three. Two. Bring both legs up one. Bend your knees. Hug them in, draw your head towards your knees. Start with the kicking of the legs to start your rolling like a ball. And once you have your rhythm, keeping your feet tucked in tight, inhale back, exhale up. Focus on the lower abdominals, drawing away from your thighs, so that you smooth out that curve in the lumbar spine. One more. Up you come and balance. Lift your feet up a little bit. Place your hands behind your knees. Start to roll yourself back. You are counterbalancing your legs pushing forward, your hands pulling onto the knees until you can bring your bra, bring your knees to 90. Single leg stretch. Extend the left leg, press. Feel the flattening of the abdominals and remember that you are pushing against the knee to engage the hip flexor and indirectly load the TA. Two more. One more. Bend both knees, reach. 
Double leg stretch, breathe in. And circle. Breathe in. And circle. Three more. Two more. One more. Listen up. Extend the legs, reaching the arms, interlock the fingers, and rock. Frame your head. One more. And placing your feet down, extending all the way up. Reach the arms forward, separate the legs, flex the feet, spine stretch forward. Nod your chin. Start curving time. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, round. And roll all the way back up into sitting. Take a breath. Exhale, flex your spine. Find that articulation. Inhale, energy through fingertips, energy through tailbone. Curl forward. And roll all the way up. Taking two more. Nod the chin. Inhale. Lengthen. Find a long spine. Flex. Rolling all the way up. One more time. Nod the chin. Exhale. Lengthen. And flex. Rolling all the way up, sitting nice and tall. Bend the right knee, bend the left knee. Reach forward to hold the ankles, bringing one knee up, bringing the other knee up. Find balance and lengthen the legs. Open leg rocker. Curl the tailbone under, roll back. Exhale, up you come and you lengthen the spine. Inhale. Make sure that you're not going back so far that your head hits the floor. Shoulders only, the elbows never bend here. Roll back. We've got two more, and if anybody wants to challenge themselves, why don't you flex your feet and hold onto the tops of your toes? One more. And hold it. Close the legs, bend the knees, and placing the feet down. Arms forward, roll down onto your spine. We're getting ready to go into our core screw. Taking the hands just a little bit wide. Yes. Bend the knees, extend the legs. Let's start with our prep. Roll both legs towards the right and draw a little semicircle away from your head, over to the other side, and cut back in over to the left, little steady circle around. Now you can continue with this variation or let's go advanced. Roll over, only horizontal to the floor. Shift a little bit to the right, coming down the right spine, draw a circle around, sweep up and over to the left side and then center yourself at the back. Shift a little to the left, Roll down the left side of the spine. Draw the little circle. Up the right side. And center, we're going to do one more time on each side. If this is too much for you, you can come down and do that semi-circle just with the legs. Use your arms. Using the obliques, eccentrically, Using the hip flexors. Exhale. Center yourself and hold it. Rolling down through the spine. Imprint. And bend both knees in towards your head. Placing your feet down. Turn onto your stomach, ready for our first back extension prone, which is the swan. Take your legs wide, external rotation, taking the arms wide and a little bit forward of your head.
Am I back? All right. So sorry about that. We left off at the swan. Here we go. Let me just highlight my video again. Okay, so into the swan. So taking the hands a little bit forward, legs are wide. You've got gluteal connection with external hip rotation. And inhale, coming up into a little baby swan, making sure your back is okay. And exhale as you simply lower back down. And again, we inhale, press up. And this time, hold on the exhale, engage gluteals, TA. Let's do one dive. Breathe in. And catch. Breathe in. And catch. Now you can keep doing singles, or let's do three in a row. Bend the elbows and releasing all the way down. Press back into a resting position, rounding out the spine. Take a breath in and then exhale, coming forward and simply turning into a seated position, legs wide and coming into the soul. Long spine, arms out. We inhale, rotate to the right. Exhale, flex forward, thumbs down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, flex. Inhale, lengthen, come up. And center. Inhale to the left. Exhale, turn the back thumb down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen, come up. And center. We move with breath. Keeping the legs and the pelvis stable. Two more. Using your arms to assist the movement. Lengthen and flex, expand, and center, last one. And center, and release. Bringing both legs together, swing them around to the back, ready for our single leg kick, followed by double leg kick. So clasping the hands or coming down if you've got any lower back issues. Legs are in parallel, hip distance apart, connecting into the mid-back extensors, squeezing gluteals and hovering the legs just off the ground. Bend the right knee, two inhales. Make any adjustments you need for knees. Send your heart forward, stabilize your pelvis. Last set. And extend, lower down, turn your head to the right, interlock your hands behind your head, up lower back, and legs are together. Bending the knees for three little baby kicks. Hold, hold. Pull, extend. Look the other way. Last one. Placing your hands just below the shoulders, pressing your legs to the floor, press up and settle back into a little bit of a stretch into that resting position. Taking a breath in and exhale, draw yourself all the way up, tuck the toes under, lift the knees and do a little jump forward. Move your hands behind you and lift your knees 
knees, lift your feet. Lower the legs, stretching them out. Hands behind your head, ready for the neck pull. Lengthen spine, you hinge back. Curl the tail under. And curl forward, lifting your head. Head comes to me. Roll up into sitting. Hinge back. Curl. Lift your head. Exhale. Head to knee. Roll up into sitting. Hinge back. This is our last set. Roll up into sitting. Come up right. Bend your knees, moving your hips down. We're going to roll onto our shoulders, ready for the scissors and the bicycle. Roll back, catching hands underneath your hips, and then start lifting, walking your hands just a little bit more into the lumbar spine. Make sure that the elbows are comfortable, allowing the pelvis to come a little bit away from you, and then stretching the legs. Scissors. Four more. Two more. Last one. Straight into the bicycle, unless you need to adjust your hands. Make any adjustments that you need. Focus on stretching your toe towards the ground. One more. And stretching both legs up. Bend your knees into your chest, placing your hands to the floor. Don't roll. Simply place your spine to the ground and placing your feet to the floor, bringing them quite close to your pelvis. Coming up into our advanced bridge. On your breath, tilting hips, rolling up, and in this full bridge, we're coming into an extension of the spine. If it doesn't feel good for your back, then rather just stay here. If you can, you place your hands underneath the pelvis. So just on the pelvic crest. Any tension in the knee, just walk the feet wider apart. Picking up the right leg, extend the leg up, and we're going to flex the foot to take it down. And one more. Hold it, bend the knee, placing the foot down. Picking up the left knee, extend the leg, flex, down you go. Hold it, bend the knee, placing the feet, taking the hands out and roll down through the spine. Imprint into the lower back and release. We're halfway through, guys. Extend your legs long, reaching the arms back. One roll up, lifting arms, lifting head. Exhale. This time, come all the way forward, holding onto your ankles and you stretch. And then unravel your spine and lifting nice and tall. You can move back if you want to have your feet on the mat. Coming into a seated spine twist. Open the arms for a moment. Make your spine round as you bring the elbows together. And let your chest open. Expand and lengthen the spine. And again, flex. And open. One more time, flex. And then lengthen, let the scapula settle and open the arms with the palms up. Double twist to the right. 
Inhale, center. Inhale. Remember that your chin stays in line with your heart. Don't let your head turn. Don't let your arms swing on their own. Work from the spine. Two more. One more. Center and release. Bailing the knees. Roll all the way down as we get ready to go into our jackknife. Hands down. Lifting the feet. Legs up. On your breath, roll over. Tack your toes to the floor and jackknife the legs up. You're going to squeeze the bum here and then roll down through the spine. You are trying to keep your legs above your pelvis and then bringing the legs just to 60 degrees. And again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, tap and lift. Exhale, roll down. Keep looking straight up so that you don't put any undue pressure on your neck in a twisted position. Bringing your legs just to 60 one more time. Keep breathing. Bend your knees and placing the feet down. Lifting the arms up and we scissor. One more set. Bring that right arm overhead and then roll onto the right side. Press yourself up onto your elbow, both knees bent. Salute as we go into our single leg kick on the elbow. Squeeze the gluteals, the leg comes back, flex the foot forward. Keep pressing out of the bottom arm. Keeping the length on the top waist. So you're working purely from the hip joint. Last one. And hold it, reach the top arm and start extending as long as you possibly can. Bending the knee, placing the hand down, reaching out, rolling onto your back, arms lifted and we scissor. Left arm over. Rolling onto your left side, pressing yourself up onto your elbow, knees bent. We salute, extending the leg, squeeze the gluteal, taking the leg back, and we flex. Point back. Stabilizing the entire length of your body, just hinging from the right hip joint. Last one. And hold it. Reach the top arm. Start lengthening the whole top line of the body. Bending the knee. Hand down. Stretch out. Rolling onto your back. Stay here just for a moment. Extending the legs long as we get ready to move into our teaser. Keep your hands where they are. Lift your head as you roll forward, bending the right knee as you come up. And then as you roll down, you counterbalance by stretching that right leg out. Let the arms move overhead. Lift your arms, lift your head, roll up. Coming into your V set with one leg and then extend. And overhead they go. 
And again, lifting arms, lift head, exhale. Stay here this time. Pick up the left leg to join it and squeeze the legs together. Roll down through the spine. Coming just until you hit your bra strap. And then inhale to come up and lengthen your legs out. Exhale, roll down, let your legs come down as the arms go overhead, but you're not resting. Squeeze your bum, lift arms, head, be set. One more time. Squeeze your bum. Your bum is acting as a simmer just right now for the lower abdominals. Hold it, bend your knees, open your arms. You can either go onto your fingertips or you can go into flat hand. Keeping the legs bent for the first set, hip circles, knees go to the right, circle the legs around and cut them back in, knees go to the left, circle them around and you have an option now to extend the legs. One more. Bend the knees. Reach arms forward, little V sit, and placing the feet down. Relax your spine over just for a moment, and then turn onto all fours. Coming down onto your stomach, ready for swimming. Reaching arms overhead, palms down, legs are slightly apart. Open up across the back and the shoulders. On your breath, hover your body, hover your legs, hover your arms. Starting slowly with a cross pattern, squeezing the quadriceps, keeping the knees straight. And then you can start to pick up the pace and add three inhales, three exhales. Last set, hold it, breathe in, lift, 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 and exhale, release. Hands on the shoulders, press back, coming just up onto all fours, and let's do a little cat stretch. Stay rounded, moving your hips back. You can stay here or you can add a little trampoline. Come forward and ready for the front leg pull. Get your wrist in a comfortable space, extend the legs back. Hold in your plank position. Hover the right leg. Eight tiny kicks. Reach through the crown. And hold. Lifting up the left leg. Eight little kicks. Place it down, bend your knees, shift back, coming just for a moment into an inverted V, stretching out the calf muscles. Take another breath in, and then exhale. Bend the knees, shift forward, and lower the knees to the ground. Turning onto your bottoms, ready now for the back leg pull. So, ideally, we want the palms of the hands facing this way, but you can have them to the side. Start by flexing the ankles. On your breath, push into the hands and the heels of the feet and lifting the pelvis up. Stay there for a moment. And then start to lower the hips down. And just see if you need to make any adjustments for your hands and your leg position. On your breath, pressing up. Lifting from the base of the pelvis, 
hovering that right leg. Five little kicks, or well, big kicks actually. Hover the left leg. Keep the pelvis lifted. Place it down. Press the hips up a little bit higher. Maybe let your head go back. And then roll down through the spine, pushing out of the arms. And just take a moment to have both knees in. Taking a nice easy breath in and out. And then turning onto your right side. So we're coming now into our side kick on a kneeling position. Fingers pointing away. Find a placement for your hip that feels good for you. Lift your leg up and down. Finding the stability through the torso. Bottom oblique is connected. Lift your leg up. Salute. Squeeze your bum, the leg goes back, and we flex forward for two. One more. Hold it. Bringing the leg in line, placing the foot down, stretching all the way over for a side bend, and then walking hand over hand, coming just into the center, lift the leg up, bring it around, bring the knee in, stretching the right leg back, bring it around towards the side, roll all the way upright, and then, Reaching over to the side, hand to the hip, and we lift. Working just from the hip joint, so you're waking up that gluteus medius, connecting into the underneath oblique, hold it there, salute, move your leg back a little bit, and we flex forward for two. Hold it, bringing your leg just in line, placing the foot down, taking a long stretch over, and then rolling through the spine, walking hand over hand, coming just back to the center, lifting the leg up, bringing it back and in, and this time sit back just for a moment into a resting position. And then as you roll up, moving your hips over to your right, right hand to the floor, as you split the legs, ready for our side bend series. Make sure I've got the right one. On your breath, let's just go to a straight line to check that we have the correct position. Move your shoulders, your hands, your feet if you need. And then bend your knees and take a seat. Guys, remember that you've got to push your shoulder away from your hand. And now, up and over into an oblique arch. Look down. Look up. Bring your hand towards your hip and let your hips come down. And then press up. Now let's add a little twist. Come back to the center. And bend. The knees. Yes? Nice one? So nice. I think we should do it again. And we go up and over. Oblique arch. Look up. Eccentric work. Lift. Little twist. Come back to the center. Now pivot to face the ground. Hold it for a moment. Bring your left hand underneath you as you come to the other side. And you bend your knees and take a seat. We're going to do that whole thing on the other side. On your breath, up and over. Oblique arch. Lift, look up. 
bring your hips down, press, coming into a lovely twist, back to the center, and bend your knees, push away from your hand, and one more time, up and over, lift up, and lift up, twist, and center, and now bend your knees, come and turn onto your hips, ready for the boomerang. So I'm moving a little bit forward on my mat. You're going to have your right leg on top, hands beside you, long spine, inhale, flex the spine. Exhale, lean back and you can lift your legs up and over you go. Switch your legs. Roll up, sit. Use your hands on this first one to help you stop. Find your connections, then let go. Open the arms. Hands behind your back. Push your hands up. And then lift the arms up, over, and unravel into a sitting position. Inhale, scoop. Exhale, lean back and send the legs over. Switch your legs. Up you come. Use your hands to help you. Stop. Lock into position and let go. Open. Lift. Release. Reach. And up you come. We're going to do two more. Breathing in. Inhale, switch. Inhale. One more. Inhale. Bending your knees, ready for the seal. Bring your hands through to the outside of your ankles. Take a moment to find your balance and you want to feel almost like your bladder is pulling away from the heels of your feet and your heels of your feet are pulling forwards away from your bladder. We're going to inhale back, hip release twice. Exhale forward, hip release twice. Protecting your neck. Make sure that you have enough control just to roll onto your shoulders without putting any pressure on your neck or on your head. One more. And hold it. We're going to release. We're moving into a crab variation. You're going to cross your right ankle over, lightly touching the tops of your feet so you're in a strong curve. Roll back. Release your legs, recross so that the left leg is in front. Now come up, put your hands on the floor so that you transfer your body weight to your feet. And then stand up, your legs are crossed. Everyone with me? And then bend your knees, come down. You still have your ankles crossed. Roll back, switch. One more. And up. And then bend your knees. And you can come all the way into a seated position. Everyone okay? Fantastic. So now we're going into our rocking. So turn onto your stomach. I just want you to put one hand underneath your head for a second. 
reach back to hold onto your foot and do a little bit of a squeeze with your bum cheek. So you get the opening into the front of the hip joint, down the quadricep, and then release, switch over to the other side, getting a little bit of a stretch into the quads. And release. Now, bend both your knees. See if you can reach back and hold on to both feet. Now, if this is as far as you can go, then you just stay here. Do not force it. If you can, get your head nice and centered. I want you to squeeze your bum so that you're actually pushing your pubic bone to the floor, and that might be your maximum stretch. If you can go further, Stop pushing your feet up into your hands. So your elbows are straight and you're gonna feel your thighs come up. And then in turn, the opening of the hips draws your chest up to extension. You can stay here or you can rock. Center. Release everything down and stretching all the way back. Press back into a resting position. Rounding out your spine. Just take a moment to find the counterbalance. And on your next breath, Take your time as you come all the way up. Turn to sit on your bum cheeks. You'll be happy to know we've got two exercises left. We have control balance and we have our push-ups. So, taking the arms out in front of you. Take a breath in. Exhale, roll yourself back down. Placing hands to the floor. Bringing both knees up to tabletop. Extend the legs, and on your breath, roll over. Flex your ankles, and as much as you can, bring your toes towards the ground. Start to circle your arms around the side, all the way up over, and hold on to the bottoms of your toes. Keep engaging the transverse. Let go of the right leg and stretch it up. Bring it down. Left leg. Bring it down. Right leg. Now you can go nice and slowly, or if you're feeling good, you could start to move at the same time. Two more. One more. Bring both legs down. Holding on to your toes, start to roll through the spine. If you need to bend the knees, please feel free. Keeping your head down, working your way through the spine. And then release and hug both knees towards your chest. Hooking your hands just behind your knees. Start to move your legs away. Bring your chin up, rounding the spine. And simply pour your body weight in towards your feet. Rolling all the way forward. And then lengthen. Sit up nice and tall, ready for our push-ups. So turning onto all fours, we're going to do little progressions here. So spread your fingers out. You're going to take your one leg back, toes under. Taking the other leg back, toes under. Stay here and just hinge the knees down. From here, do one push-up. Lengthen, hips up. Come forward, 
Stay here, you can put your knees down if you wish. Lifting up the right leg, lower it down. Lifting up the left leg, lower it down. Put your knees to the floor, stretch the right leg out, one push up. Bring the right leg down, stretch the left leg out, one push up. Knees down, straighten the knees and hips up, downward facing dog. Hinge forward. Now you can put your knees on the ground or just from here. Hips up. And again, hold it. You can lift up the right leg, one push up. Left leg. Hips up, downward facing dog. Bend your knees and do a little jump. And again, and again, and now jump forward into a little crouch, roll up halfway, fingertips to the ground, give your head a little shake, and then unravel your spine, coming all the way upright, Woo. roll the shoulders back, and then just take a moment. Make sure that your feet are in line with each other. Just allow your arms to relax heavy beside you. And just take a moment to close your eyes. Listen to your heartbeat. Just allow your breath to slow down. Take a moment to really root into your feet. Allow your head to float upwards and just let the rest of your body suspend itself in space. When you're ready, open your eyes, blinking gently. Let's take one deep breath in. Reach up, touch your hands. And exhale, open your arms nice and wide. And once again, just roll the shoulders back and around and give everything a little bit of a shake. Oh my goodness, guys. Did you feel okay? Let me quickly unmute everyone. Please tell me I'm not the only one sweating, for goodness sake.